The reality of the phrase child labour hits you like a hammer. Children as young as five carry 40 kilo bags of cement and work 12 hours a day selling it on the black market. It's a world where the joy of youth is transformed into prematurely aged bodies dying from exhaustion before the age of 10. Diseases rife from toxic fumes and all in the cause of earning just a few cents. The difference between life and death for the families they support. <laughs> Raja is a nine-year-old child with matchstick limbs carrying cement bags almost his own weight. The cold reality is that he won't live to see his 15th birthday. They are uh, deprived from so many things, from basic education, the, from the basic food, shelter, love, and all types of protections. They are right. They are deprived of. What we want is uh, to put the children on their own feet. That one day they can no need to work in the mud, in the sun. Huh? That they would be a teacher, that could, they could earn. They could be nurses, they can work in the office, they can earn more money. They don't have to slog, they don't have to beg. Better house they will have, a better way of living. So we want our families to be happy, not to suffer, you see. You can take away uh, from a child or from a person, anybody, you know, the dignity, the wealth, the cloth, anything. But after all, education is, stays back. That is, carries our head and it cannot be taken away. So we try to see more children being educated. If we don't actually look at the needs of these children right at the beginning, the society, the citizens of tomorrow would be severely impaired. Build a better future for our children.